So today we are looking at another Poco phone. They are just pumping them out, which is kind of cool. And uh, they have now a Poco M5 and a Poco M5S. And this is the M5S and we got it in this top secret case. So uh, it, it just got released, I think yesterday. So Poco M5S, there it is. There it is. So today what we're gonna do is take a look at what comes in the box. Of course, we're gonna take a look at their website, see what it uh, has for specs. And uh, we'll run some benchmarks on it. And of course, uh, see what the camera's like. Okay, let's do that. Okay guys, so here, here it is, the Poco M5S, the fun magician, oh yes. Uh, 6.43 full HD plus AMOLED dot display, 64 megapixel AI quad camera, ultra wide and macro lens and a depth lens. That's the four, the depth lens as well. So uh, MediaTek, MediaTek Helio G95 dual speakers, which I like because uh, one of the last ones we had was speakers just on one side. Uh, sports up to 33 watt fast charging, 5,000 milliamp battery, cool. There's their 64 meg quad camera. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try it, of course. Um, so 64 megapixel high resolution camera. I I'm happy with that. 118 degree ultra wide. It doesn't show the resolution, so I'm guessing if it's similar to the last one, it'd be between 12, 12 and uh, 13, I think. Um, two megapixel depth camera, which is going to be used for like, uh, my guess would be for like portrait effects, right? So depth of field, uh, two megapixel macro camera. I would like to see that one increase at some point to five if possible, because two megapixels, that's, that's fairly little, right? Uh, there you go. Stunning nightscapes. Got some cool night modes, ultra wide mode. I do like the ultra wide 118 is pretty good, right? That's uh, nice and wide. Uh, macro mode, and, and I found in their previous cameras, the macro mode actually works pretty good. It's just, of course, not very high in resolution. And portrait mode, I'm guessing this is gonna be using the depth camera to help get that. And even before, uh, their portrait mode, actually pretty strong, pretty good. 13 megapixel front facing selfie, which is what I'm guessing again is the rear cameras when you don't fire up the actual uh, 64 meg, so that wide, my guess would be a 13. Uh, there's your screen, 409 PPI, which is awesome. Uh, 4.5 million to one contrast ratio, 1100 nits, that's actually awesome for brightness. DCI-P3, yeah, Corning Gorilla Glass, uh, 2400 by 1080 resolution. Anti-flicker mode, very cool. There's your dual speakers. There's your processor. You guys can come on here and, and take a look, right? Um, it has a um, up to six gigs of RAM, so they, I believe they make two versions. Uh, up to 128 gigs of storage and up to up to one terabyte of external storage based on micro SD cards. If you want dynamic RAM, oh, all kinds of fun stuff, right? 37 hours of calling, 30 days of standby, 11 hours of gaming, 19 hours of video playback. There's your 30 minutes to charge to 64%. That's not too bad, 33 watts. 3D curved design. So I don't think it's a curved screen, it's curved design. So the back of it's gonna have a bit of a curve. They say it's gonna be more ergonomic in your hands. Uh, Color-wise, you get a gray, you can get this blue, uh, white. What's weird is there it doesn't look like there's a yellow because wh where'd the yellow go? Uh, IP53, Z-axis linear motor, and some other stuff. Now. Uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So they always have a headphone jack, which is cool. Side fingerprint scanner. Uh, it uses a MIUI 13 based on uh, Android 12. An IR blaster, NFC, which is great. One of the things, again, that we don't see ever really, that at least I haven't seen on the Poco phones, is gonna be any kind of uh, wireless charging. So, and then you can click on here and see in-depth specs if you want. So I, I don't even know which one we got here. So all we know, Poco, Poco M5. There it is, Poco M5, right? Pretty standard yellow box. And it's got something on there. I can't read that. Maybe you guys can read that. I don't know, maybe this is telling us which one it is. I have no idea. I don't know. But this 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 is this is she. So that's going right there. Cracking open the box, of course. Right. 
Inside here, you're gonna have your manual, your uh, SIM card ejector, right? Your manual, you get a little case, which is good. We will take the case out because I think it's important for us to have, you know, the case because, you know, unlike let's say, say an iPhone or a flagship Android phone, um, one of the things that you, uh, it's harder to get with say, a, a, not a flagship style phone uh, is cases. So I'm super happy that they give you a case. It's, it's nothing fancy but it's, it's definitely gonna help, right? It's just a nice little clear case. Does the job, right? There it is. Uh, yeah, pleased. Um, because they send it to us, they do send us a uh, European version, 33 watt, but I have tons of chargers, so not a big deal. It is, as far as I know, right? USB-A on one side and then the European plug. Now, I actually have European plug adapters upstairs, so that'll work. Uh, as well as you get a nice long cable and that's gonna be USA, USB-A to USB-C. You guys may be able to see that in there, right? There you go. So that that works. That works well. That's going to be very nice. And uh, that's that's the stuff in the box. Now, now, throw this over here. Don't need it. This is the M5 64. It gives you some extra specs on the on the paper. Ooh, is this the blue one or is this the gray one or is this white? I don't even know. What were the color options here? Well, this must be the white one. Oh, that's that's slick. I like the white. Oh, I do. I like the white a lot, actually. If I, I, I have never had a white phone. Does any, this is, is there, is there a sticky on it? Maybe not. Just, just this thing here, right? Just this piece, which that's, that's coming off somehow. It's like a, it's like a pearl. You may, may not be able to tell that with the actual recording, but it's kind of like, almost like a pearly white. Oh, I like I like that. That is, that is that's that's pretty slick actually. And yes, it's nice and thin, right? Which is cool. So, yeah, that that feels nice in the in the hands. Okay, right. All the buttons are easily reachable. It's a good size. I actually like this size for my hands because, you know, it, it grips really nice. It does. Okay, let's just turn it on. Let's turn it on. And see what we have. So we'll go through the setup here real quick. Poco, uh, you guys, if you want, you can stick around. If not, fast forward down below. Just use the little slider guy, fast forward till when we start doing our, our benchmarks. But uh, for setup wise, um, we're gonna just go through it real fast. I'll probably skip around a lot, uh, just so you guys don't sit here for the next 10 minutes. But it boots up nice and quick, which is good. And uh, we're going to actually, Maybe, maybe you guys don't care. I'm gonna set it up uh, and do a restore from uh, previous, from a previous phone. Uh, this is choose language, English, UK. Can I do English, not UK? Yeah, English, United States, there we go. I really do, you know, I have to say, I really do like their phones, right? Just everything's, everything's excellent here. Just kinda, yes. Good. Checking for skim, SIM card. I'm going to say skip this. Don't need it. Logging into my network because that's important. It's actually got a nice uh, haptic, like the vibration is actually really nice too. So that's good. Should be logged in here. Connected. Cool. Getting Now, if you can type fast, and hit the next button pretty quick. The setup through here is really good, especially if you're gonna set this up as brand new, um, <clears throat> then you won't have to go through the restore phase that I'm gonna go through where it's pulling all the stuff from uh, an older, uh, either iPhone or Android phone. Now I'm putting, I'm, while this is happening, I'm putting my case on because, true story, I was testing an older one of the Poco phones outside and I was just fiddling around and I dropped it and I actually broke the camera. Yeah, luckily I had already taken pictures with it, but that made me sad because it was one of their higher higher end ones, which was uh, actually a really nice phone. Now the other thing too, which is kind of nice, the case, you know, it does cover, but it pretty much just covers enough of the of the, the black bevel, the bezel. Um, there's not a lot, like there's not a super large chin or anything. Um, you have the pinhole style camera at the top and copy up with that in a second you can see the four camera array right there so that's actually really nice with the flash beside it so 
Very good. Oh, yeah, dude, I like, I like, I have to say, I, I, I'm down with this white. I'm down with that. Okay, copy apps and data. Yep. Use your old device. Uh, what does it say? You need your old device or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked. Do I have one of those here? Uh, they may all be upstairs. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do this restore. You guys don't need to hang out for that. And then we'll come back and start firing up the uh, benchmarks and take a look at the photo and video. All right. Stay tuned. Hold on. All right, my friends. So we have had a chance now to play with this uh, Poco M5S. And um, actually, you know what? For really, it's a, it's a crazy budget, right? This is a budget phone. And uh, it's if you're spending this kind of money, you know, $200, $300 Canadian, um, you can't expect flagship performance but you're getting some pretty pretty good stuff out of this for the price point right so that's not straight that's is that straighter somewhere in there maybe that's sort of straight that's sort of straight i think sort of straight anyways we did some benchmarks and benchmark wise you know especially comparing this to uh the previous m4 um i would say you're probably looking at about 20 20 ish percent increase somewhere in that range so we did geekbench um we did the cpu and you guys can see some of the cpu scores here and if you go back and look at my m4 video we have some of the uh same kind of uh scoring benchmarks on that video so if you want to do a comparison you can so cpu you definitely got a nice improvement it actually did uh about the same in single core, but when it went to multi-core, it, it was actually better. So that that's that's good because you know when you're doing single core stuff, it's not really intensive. When the multi-core kicks in, we we get some definite benefit. Uh, when we ran the compute again, we saw very similar about that twenty percent performance increase over like the M4. So that was kind of kind of good. Uh, again with Geekbench, um, we'll have them up on the screen here for you guys. Uh, then we went in and did uh, 3D Mark, uh, and 3D Mark really, you know, if you put it up against, let's say, a flagship phone, uh, this the, the M5, the M4, the M series, uh, it, it struggles a little bit for sure, right? Um, but for anybody that's just doing standard day-to-day gaming and 3d stuff you should be fine uh if you are wanting that flagship performance then i would be looking for a, a bit of a higher end phone even if you end up going to like the the f4 uh from poco or the f4 i think gt those phones definitely have a much uh better uh benchmark test uh you get a lot more fluidity you get a higher frames frames per second um the m5s was okay it's you know what it's it's fine to play i would say mid-level and lower end 3d games and things like that we actually do a little bit of a test coming up just stay tuned um with with a game just to see how it plays because really that's what's important right and this was the last benchmark we did and this one here really just kind of uh emulates a lot of just day-to-day -day things that you and i would do on our phone so it's you know a little bit of uh, photo editing a little bit of video editing uh browsing on the web it does copy and pasting or exporting to pdf and things like that um and, and honestly most modern day phones are going to be able to do this pretty good this one actually scored almost identical to the m4 i really didn't expect it to, to be a lot faster or slower, it's it's just pretty standard. But it does kind of show that if this is kind of the phone or a phone that you're looking at, and this is what you're going to be doing with this phone, that it should operate you know just fine. Uh, touch responsive responsiveness was really good out of this phone. Um, the screen itself is nice and bright, which I like. Uh, it's got some Face ID stuff. It's got you know the fingerprint scanner, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So your security is there. It, it's it, in that aspect. I think it's a really good phone. If you're if you're going to be looking at this for, as a like I said as a gaming phone, and we'll see this here with gaming, right? Uh, I took out Asphalt Eight because it's it's 3D ish, right? It's a 3D racing game. It's kind of mid level, and playability was great. I had no issues playing this game at all. 
you know, the, the accelerometer inside when you're playing with it, it was super responsive. There was no lagging, there was no stuttering, zero complaints. So if that's kind of the level of game that you're like, oh, I, that's that would be the maximum that I would play, then you're good. If you're probably shooting a little higher and want something again that's gonna play flagship level games, then you want a little bit more of a flagship level phone. That's just, just how it is. Um, last, last but not least, of course, was the camera. So we did take it out. Uh, we just shot some stuff upstairs. We shot some stuff outside. Uh, the cameras do good, you know, the 64 megapixels does really well. I. <sighs> I, I'm always surprised and impressed actually with their portrait mode on here. Um, we shot a picture of myself with a selfie camera, which you can see, and then I shot a, a photo of my wife uh, with the with the front facing camera, um, rear facing camera, this camera, and uh, <laughs> really good. The cameras on here are great. It's, it's lovely, there's no complaints. The macro, again, my biggest complaint with the macro, not that it's not a good macro, it's just the resolution, two megapixels. I'd love to see them punch that up to like five so that it's actually at least somewhat usable and you can do stuff with it, maybe blow it up a little bit. I, I don't know. Um, video wise, you're looking at like a 1080p video. Uh, it looks like front and rear 30 frames per second. Um, you do get, of course, on the rear, you get a wide and an ultra wide. Um, now this is where I find that it stumbles maybe just a little bit again it all depends on how important the video quality is stabilization actually pretty good my guess is just it's just electronic um, but I do find that it has a lot of sharpening on it there's a lot of sharpening and I it just looks overly sharpened it looks like it's overly compressed um, you guys are seeing the video footage here again both of the wide and then you'll see the same kind of thing in the ultra wide you can you can judge if you're like yeah it's fine or if you're like no i need better you know it, it is it is what it is um so in regards to photos really good in regards to video ma gaming same thing it's a, it's a shoot in the middle right and then just day-to-day -day performance wise i think it's 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 really it's really a great phone and again i, I love this white i really do like this white a lot it's it's quite lovely um, it's a two to three hundred dollar phone. The fact that it does any of this, any of this, is amazing at that price point. Especially when you look at, let's say, Apple releasing probably an iPhone today, uh, iPhone fourteen. That's probably going to range somewhere in a thousand plus dollars. Is this going to compete against that? No. Is it in the same market? No. It's not. It's not what it is. Um, if you're on a budget and looking for a budget phone, or maybe even a second phone for work, or a phone for the grandparents, or a phone for the kids, yeah, that that that's something to look at. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, put links down to Poco's website down below, and uh, you guys can check out this phone as well as all of their other phones, because if maybe you want a little higher end, there's some really good ones there as well. All right, my friends, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Later.